Greetings, Glitter Gang, and welcome back to Catherine Scraps Live. My name is Catherine, and this is a show held live every Thursday where we craft together. And you'll see that this video is labeled Hip to Be Square Album. We are going to continue with the Hip to Be Square Album. So this is going to get worked on today. However, before we do that, I need to make a graduation card. So we're going to do that together. <laughs> so... Uh, so we're going to start with a graduation card, and I'm going to put this on YouTube, so you uh, you may be watching this on YouTube after the fact. So this is not my original idea. It came from uh, a video I saw from Stamped with Aloha. So this is uh, from that channel. So check out that channel to see some cool cards and I think it's a riff on a kimono card um, so that's what we're gonna do I have a picture of the graduate uh, here I cropped out any identifying info so I've, that's why I've chosen this color scheme and then I made um, uh, congratulations graduate sentiment to uh, cut out for the front and then also I made a couple different options for how to go for something to go on the inside as a sentiment so uh, we'll see so first things first let me just set this out of safely out of the way and we're going to start with um, I have to I'm going to send this with a box that contains gifts so I'm just going to make um, <coughs> oh my gosh I am so sorry I've had some allergy thing all week friends I've had really itchy eyes uh, I don't know what the deal is but you know, I'm trying to survive. Just trying to survive. All right. I just realized I'm going to grab a, a pink. Cause we might make, we might make a hand. We'll see. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down to eight and a half by 11. And I want it so that I'm going to fold it like this. <clears throat> so I'm going to cut it to I'm not cutting it to eight and a half by eleven. I'm cutting it to oh no I am eight and a, uh, eight and a half by eleven. So I'm going to cut it at eight and a half here and then eleven here because I want it to. It's going to be a gatefold. <clears throat> and so what we're going to be making is a gra graduation gown. Okay, so this is going to be a gatefold card, and so we want it to end up being five and a half by eight and a half. So I need to fold two and a quarter inches in, two and three quarter inches in on either side. Okay, not us, because five and a half divided in half is two and three quarters. So I'm going to fold it two and three quarters. And then five inches over would be seven and three quarters, and then one, two, for five and a half, so eight and a quarter. So two and three quarters and eight and a quarter. And there we go. Okay, perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make this look little bit more like a graduation gown okay and to do that I'm going to use the Fiskars trimmer because <clears throat> we have to cut um, a little place for a sleeve and so this is eight and a half I want it to be about a third of the way up so I'll just divide eight and a half by three with the fraction calculator we get two and five sixths which is um unhelpful we're just gonna interpret that as two and seven eighths so in fact to make it easy i'll just do three inches 
So I'm going to put this at three inches and I'm going to cut up and I'm just going to cut in um, I don't know. I'll cut in like three quarters of an inch. And then I'm going to flip it to the other side, put it at three inches and do the same thing. All right. So now we're going to fold again because what we want is we want this part to go the other way so that it kind of makes like a little, see how it would make a little sleeve there. So what we need to do is I'm just going to put my center score line on the six line on my board and then I'm going to cut or score three quarters of an inch over one, two, three quarters of an inch just up to that line that I cut and then one, two, three quarters of an inch up to that line that I cut. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three quarters of an inch. One, two, three quarters of an inch. All right. And then now I can bend this back. Okay. And that's going to give me a little sleeve and I can put a little, I think I'm going to put a little quarter circle here of the pink to make a little hand. All right. And then I think we're going to have to use this one because we're going to have to cut notches for this. So this is an eighth of an inch shorter all the way around. So instead of cutting at three inches, we're going to cut at two and seven eighths. We want to lose one eighth of an inch off the bottom. And I'm going to come in a half an inch first. And then we'll see how we do with a half an inch. And if that is enough, then great. And if it's not enough, we'll cut out another quarter of an inch. So we're just gonna, all right. All right, so we have a little problem here. Okay, I figured it out. I just need to cut it at uh, five and three eighths instead. And again, I'm gonna come in half an inch and then I'm gonna come over and cut up to that half inch line. All right, and now we're gonna see if this will go. And it's a little tight, so we're gonna lose an eighth of an inch off of each of these, which not totally unexpected. I think I'll just do that with a ruler. I think um, with really small little bits, it'll just look cleaner if I use my ruler and a knife. So I'm just going to line this up so that this line is straight with a line, this line is straight with a line, this line is straight with a line. And then I can line my 1 8 inch mark up here. slicey dicey 
And then I'm just gonna freehand finish that. All right, and now do the same thing on the other side. So that's straight with a line, that's straight with a line, that's straight with a line, that's straight with a line. And once they're all straight, we can just go ahead and cut. <coughs> oh my goodness. You know, twice this week, Mr. Lifeguard has said he thinks I'm getting sick, that he doesn't think I have allergies. I wonder if he is um, correct. That would be annoying. Oh, yes! Look at that. <coughs> Look at that. All right, so that fits now. Perfect. So I came in uh, 5 eighths of an inch on either side. That's the correct amount uh, to come in if you were to do this yourself. And this was originally a 5 and a quarter by 8 and a quarter inch piece of paper. So All right, let me just take another drink of water. My goodness. While I'm doing that, everyone tell me how your weekend has been going and what you have been crafting. Okay. So I'm going to take my pink paper and my largest circle. Okay. And then I'm going to cut this circle in half. And you won't see all of it, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So what I want, yes, I'm just going to stick that right here. I'm going to stick it to this edge so I get a little hand. So I'm just going to put a quarter inch line of tape. And then in the nail update, I thought for sure I was going to have new nails today. But despite this nail breaking a week ago, they've been hanging in there. They've been hanging in there. So maybe next week. Maybe next week. So what we want is, and I'm going to pop it out, is I want it to stuck here. Okay. Maybe I'll just Okay, perfect. And I do have a little tiny bit sticking out the top. 
So I'm going to go ahead and trim that off. All right, so we got a little our little hand. When I stick this in, this bows just a little bit, so I may slice a little bit more off uh, off of this, but we'll see. Let me get the other hand on there first. There we go. All right, so now we want to put the little honors collar on because this is an honors student. They did a tassel, but we're going to do a collar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this so that it's a square. And then I will cut that in half and that'll give us what we're looking for. So um, as it is, it's four and a quarter. So I'm going to cut it to four and a quarter. And this is a remnant of the paper that was used to print. And the reason I'm using this is so that the collar white will be the exact same white as the rest of the piece. <coughs> so I've lined the two points of the diagonal square up uh, with one line on my desk so that I can then easily line my ruler up with that line and just cut. And it's the easiest way to cut a diagonal. All right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue this to the top here. Yes, just like this. And then we're gonna add the gold to it. Um, and it's probably gonna be easier to add the gold while it's still detached. So I need to cut a four and a quarter inch square of the gold as well. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, did I not cut this to actually four and a quarter? I cut it to four by four and a quarter. Okay, so let's try that again. I actually have a need to use a piece of that later uh, to make a medallion. Uh, which is going to be the closure so we can still use that piece okay so here's what i'm going to do on the back of this i'm going to draw a line um let's do a half an inch in from either side to intersecting sides Okay, two intersecting sides. We want to make a V. Okay. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut on this line and I'm just gonna do it freehand. But you could use a ruler and a knife or your Fiskars trimmer. All right, and to make this look more fabric-y, 
Okay, what we're going to do with these is I'm just going to temporarily stick them together because what I want to do is I want to give them a little score down the middle to make it look like Oh, I don't have to score them down the middle because it's actually going to get cut down the middle. Never mind. I'll just glue this. Never mind. Uh, I found a Scotch Quick Dry, everyone. <laughs> so we're still not done with Scotch Quick Dries. But this is for real, for real, the last one. And I put a berry art glue in my subscribe and save. And that comes on June 20th. So I'll have the bear glue on June 20th. And then on June 21st or June 19th, I will find the... Um, the one that I already have, it will be located on that day, either immediately before or immediately after the missing glue, uh, the new glue arrives to replace the missing glue. The missing glue will return. Cause that's just how it is. Okay. So we have this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cover it in tape. So now I'm just going to trim this all around this piece and then we'll talk about sticking it down. And the, it's easy because all I have to do is just cut straight across more or less. All right. Nice clean, nice clean bib. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to line it up on my desk so that the point of the, so that the, the edge is flat with a line and the point is you know, with a line as well. I'm going to put my ruler on here and I'm very gently going to cut through the tape backing. So this is just for the tape backing. This is not to cut cut. But as you can see, I did kind of cut the whole thing. So I'll just go ahead and make one more pass and cut all the way through.
All right, so it goes like so. So I'm just going to line it up like this. And then we'll just cut that little corner off. I mean, I don't have to. I guess I could let it stick out as if it's a bib, but I don't think I will. I'm just going to cut this corner. Okay. It actually looks very much like <laughs> a graduation gown. Go figure. Go figure. All right. Ta-da. Okay. Okay, perfect. So now what else do I need to cut? I need to trim another eighth of an inch off these. And I'm going to just trim it off this one side and see if that's enough. I think it might be. And my text is not perfectly centered anyway. So it's better if I remove a little bit more from the left than the right. Okay. Yeah, that's plenty. Okay, so now we're going to tape this and stick it down. And because it's going inside of a card, I'm just going to use ATG. I did get ATG from Find Tape. So um, I decided to just get the 908 Gold, which is what is my preference. And they did not have that at Tape Jungle, so... Uh, but they did at find tape and at find tape they even had the 60 yard rolls which i prefer because they will fit in the 700 gun which is the gun that i have And um, just, just know that the 60 yard rolls won't fit in every kind of gun, okay? Um, but there's actually a warning about that on the uh, tape website. Okay, so you open it. Cute. 
All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to put um, this, we're gonna make a circle closure. You know how we make that circle closure out of the four circles? We're gonna make one of those and we're gonna put it right under this so it looks like a metal hanging from the sash. And that is what's gonna say, congratulations, graduate. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the circle that'll cut this out. So let's start with two and a half and see if that'll work. Uh, it might, but I'm gonna have to get closer. Okay, congratulations, graduate. Now we need um, the three inch, the three inch will be next is what I've got to do. So let me, let me try to remember where I put my three inch punch because it couldn't go in there. All right, here it is. Second guess. So I'm gonna cut four circles out of this three inch punch, possibly. Goodness, am I weak or is there something wrong with the punch? <coughs> Don't answer that. Two, and we need four of these. Three and four. So this is why I said you need a lot more of the yellow paper than you originally kind of think. All right, put this purple punch away. So this is super simple. The congratulations graduate gets glued in the center of one of them. And then these other three are gonna form a closure. So I'm just gonna fold two of them in half. So here we go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of hold it so that when I press it down, I know this is like right side up so that when I stick down my circles on the back, I stick them down so that the medallion will be facing right side up when we slide it on. And we fold this or adhere this score side in. Hold that for a second, let the glue grab. And what we may do is use a little scrap to make a little gold cuff coming down. I think that would be cute. 
You'll be able to see it a little bit on the back, but I think it'll be okay. You'll just see it coming like right there. I don't think it'll, I don't think it'll bother anyone. But I think a little gold cuff would be cute. And then you put the other one down right next to it and hold that. All right, and so now it looks like this. And so we're just gonna put this on the back. And that's gonna clean everything up. And finish off our closure and then we'll just decorate with a couple little medallions or little little gold cuffs and then just hold the whole thing down Where's uh, the lid? Uh-oh. Oh, here it is. Whew. Okay. So the way that this will work is like in past albums that we've done, it's gonna slide over the two halves here and it's gonna slide all the way up so that it's like a uh, metal hanging from the grad's neck. And that's just gonna hold the card shut. So now we just wanna make a little cuff here. So we know that this is three quarters of an inch and I just wanna make it slightly less than three quarters of an inch, so. Um, I'm just going to cut it with a ruler because I don't need that much. And I'm going to put, if I were to cut it right here, this would be three quarters of an inch. So I'm just going to scooch over just a little bit so that I'm not quite, not quite three quarters of an inch. All right, and so now we're just gonna attach this, just like a little bit of it, just like that to make a cuff. Does it, yeah. So I think I probably just need one inch pieces of this. Two, two one inch pieces of this. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue up on the top here and then press it into place and then oops I'm just gonna pull this off because I wanna just open it and make sure I'm not gluing this shut. Okay, so this doesn't quite work. It's gonna have to be attached to the hand in order to work. So I'm just gonna have to clean this up a little bit. And I'm just gonna scrape off the remnants of the cardstock. 
that are left over here. Clean it up as best I can. All right. Okay, so it has to be stuck to the hand, which is fine. So we're just gonna put it like so, and then I'll cut it off. And I'll just kind of eyeball it, and then trace it with a pencil. So just for ease of opening with the way that it's folded on the side, the cuff has to be part of the hand. So that's the change. All right. Okay, yeah, that adds a cute cute little bit. It does. It does. Okay. Just going to do the same thing on the other side. Just going to mark Well, this is um, a little bit tricky, this one. So I think what I'll do to make this just a little bit easier on myself is I'll just, um, I'm just gonna line it up with the remnant I cut off the other side. And just cut that way. Okay. All right. There we go. So I'm now going to tidy some scraps here. And I think the only thing left to do that I think is maybe something we want to do is to have a place on the sides where we can write our messages. And I can just use the back of the piece I didn't use because it'll be the right size. So let's, so this is two and three quarters. So I need a piece of this that is um, two and a half, two, two pieces of this that are two and a half. And then these will have to be notched the same as the other side. So um, ultimately we came in three quarters of an inch on one side and five, <laughs> five and 
five eighths of an inch on the other side. So I think what I'll do is I'll just come in three quarters of an inch on each of these and I think that'll be fine. So I'm just gonna once again line this up with my desk and I, I need to come up two and seven eighths of an inch. So I'm gonna cut up that two and seven eighths of an inch and I'm going to cut one two three quarters and this one will go on the left and then on this one I need to go the other way so instead of uh, two and three quarters I need to be at five and three eighths and then cut up one, two, three quarters. And then that'll go on the other side. Yeah, see, they, the notches line up. So I'm just gonna, um, since I'm gonna cut the whole three quarters all at once, I'll just do it with this. And then that'll just give us a place to write because since I did put all those graduation caps on the sentiment piece, I don't really have a space left to write. <laughs> all right. And then these, like once again, since they'll be inside the card, well, these are on the flaps. They're gonna be handled more. Maybe I should do these. Eh, I'll just do them with ATG. It's probably fine. All right. And that covers up our little mistake from earlier. All right, and that's gonna finish it off. So now we just can, so there we go. All right, let's, let's just stick this back on. So we get the whole experience. All right, so here's our card. Well, it looks so cute. Look at that. All right. So here we go. So this is, here, let me just tidy. So here's what we did. 
Okay, I took an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of cardstock in blue because the graduate in questions gown was blue. We scored it at two and three quarters uh, in from either edge to create this gatefold. Then we cut three inches in from the two scores on either, not three inches, three quarters, uh, we cut three quarters of an inch in, three inches up from the bottom on either side to make our sleeves. To get the hands, I just cut a circle out of this pink and cut it in half and it's attached to the back of that fold for the sides, okay? This is a three inch circle. I just cut four of them and that's how I made the closure. So it's two that are in a V shape that go on either side of the flap and one circle on the front and one circle on the back to hold it all together. This is a four and a quarter inch square cut in half on the diagonal with just a little border of the yellow added. So it's not difficult, um, but it's cute. Too cute. Now I have a place to write on the sides. And that's it. I made a graduation card shaped like a graduate. So um, thank you so much for joining me and making this card so I can send the graduation present I need to send this weekend. That will be excellent for me. <laughs> I'm glad to be done, So, All right, so. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do the rest of the class. We're going to work on hip to be square. But if you have any graduates that you need to make cards for, this is a fun little design. Uh, so this uh, particular family, they don't have a lot of resources to send the kids like with private laptops to college and stuff. So last year we got like, um, uh, uh, we found on sale a like good value or budget buy kind of tablet that can be used if you get the Microsoft 365 apps as a um, computer you just have to get a keyboard to attach to the tablet and you can use the microsoft 365 app to like write your papers and stuff and that way the kid would be able to write their papers without having to go to the computer lab i don't even know if they have computer labs anymore so that was her older brother and so i texted my friend and i said hey you know we want to make sure we also get her a gift very comparable like what are her plans does she need a tablet like similar to his or what? And she said um, that she's been using a, her stepfather's track phone, old track phone, because she doesn't have a phone. So what she really needs is a phone that she can take to college so she can be in contact with the family and all that, text her friends and all that. And so I said, and she said, I'm not looking for anything fancy, just anything that'll just like work, you know. Um, and so we happen to have a Google Pixel, uh, phone. I don't know. I think it's, I think it's a three. It used to be Mr. Lifeguards and we've been keeping it around the house in case ever anyone breaks their phone. We used to have a three and a four, but then someone broke their phone. So now we don't have the four anymore. Um, and so I said, well, I have this phone, like we can, you know, fix it up and send it, get it a cute case, whatever. And my friend was like, oh my gosh, that would be amazing. Like literally anything is great. And then, um, you know, he and I were talking about it later and we felt like we should at least look at, could we get a phone that we haven't like used into the dirt for a comparable amount to what we spent on the like budget tablet for the brother, which we didn't think we'd be able to because the price difference between tablets and phones is wild, wild. Like phones cost so so much more than tablets. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so um, like if you're just trying to buy a phone and like not part of a plan or anything, like they do not want you to do that. They do not want you to just buy phones. <laughs> that is not a thing they want you doing. So anyway, we were able to find um, a Google Pixel 5 
as part of a refurbishment program, very highly rated. Uh, the program was the re very highly rated. They said it's in like perfect condition. Looks like it's never been used. No scratches, nothing. Everything works. They said just maybe it doesn't have like the original Google charger. Maybe it has like a off market charger. And it was only um, $200. It's less than we spent on the tablet for the brother. So um, that's what we got. We got that. So it's actually going to be a little bit nicer than what even mom was expecting. Um, but um, yeah, like, um, yeah, it's hard to send kids to college these days. And they have a lot. Um, like there's only a year between, maybe it's two years. I think it's two years. There's only two years between these two kids. So they've got like a, the poor parents, <laughs> the poor parents with the way, what college costs these days and everything. Um, I don't know how you send kids like back to back to school or whatever. So anyway, we are happy to do just like a little bit to make it a little bit easier for them. I've been friends with her for a really, really long time. I've known these kids their whole lives, you know, they've known me their whole lives. So, um, we're happy to do it. We just want to make sure we're being like equitable, um, and not spending like a less and less on each kid as they come through, you know? Um, but also that we're getting them like what they really need, you know? So, um, her plan is to live at home for at least a year and go to community college and get some like basic education credits out of the way that way where it's like really cheap, which I think is a really good idea. And that gives her, she's not a hundred percent sure what she really wants to do. So that gives her some additional time to kind of figure it out. And that's why a phone was going to be more useful because she thinks she wants to do some traveling. And I guess her brother is doing a semester abroad soon and maybe she, the family can find a way to like hook them up with each other. I don't know, whatever. So anyway, the phone is what was needed, but the phone industry is wild. I mean, I get that it's harder to make things smaller. So, I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a level where I understand tablets are cheaper, but we're talking like Samsung selling phones for a thousand dollars more than tablets. You know, <laughs> there's like, like there, it is a, like, it's, it's wild what, what they're charging for phones, <laughs> you know? Um, 200, $200 for a used phone and it's a five and they're on seven now and they're leaking eight. So it's like three, two on its way to being three years old. So, cause they've had the six and the seven. So I don't know, but anyway, we did the best we could, but I think, I think she'll be happy with it. So it will certainly be an improvement on a track phone. <laughs> so um, so here we go. Congratulations, graduate. So, um, yeah, we got the phone. We got it a cute little purple case. And I got it one of those um, tempered glass screen protectors where if you if you break the screen while the thing is on it, they replace your screen. So um, that should keep it going for a while. So anyway, um, but yeah, it's tough. It's tough to do gifts for grads. And we... Um, Luckily, this is the only friend of mine who has um, kids that are coming like into the age of having of having graduations. Um, but, you know, <laughs> eventually there's going to be more of them. So we're going to have to figure out maybe some kind of thing we get every single kid. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that thing may be a gift certificate to Best Buy. I don't know. Gretchen says, that's why we only get new phones when our batteries are dead. It's not like the new phones are worth the price. Yeah, it's hard to tell sometimes even, like, other than the camera, sometimes. If you if you jump a few, the camera can really seem amazing. Um, but other than that, it's kind of hard. So, anyway, so I'm going to put this in the box with the phone, the phone case, and the phone's supposed to come this weekend. We have the case and the screen protector. So once the phone arrives, I'm going to pack everything together. We're going to put this on top. And that's going to be our gift. So for those of you who are watching live, just hang tight. Nothing's going to change for you. I'm going to do a recording break now. For those of you who are watching this on YouTube or in the archives, if you're on YouTube, 
you can see the rest of the show by leaving the cards full or excuse me if you're on if you're in the archives you can see the rest of the show by leaving the cards folder and going to the hip to be square folder and if you're on youtube that's it for today but hey you got to see a cute card so thanks so much for watching everyone remember i'm live every thursday at 2 p.m eastern usa time and 9 p.m eastern usa time i will see you next time bye now